You know when there's a spider dangling in front of you and you try to flick it away, but the thread just gets longer till the spider's just hanging there? No, have you never seen that? Well, it's awful bizarre the way it happens. So you wouldn't just flick a spider away like that. You look like a nice woman. You must be thinking I'm a bad bitch, but I wouldn't hurt the wee creature. There it is, the spider, you see? Oh, you missed it, it's away now. It went under that seat, it's all right. You'd think it would have run away earlier, but it waited. Then the spider let itself down, dead gentle to the ground, like a lift going through the floors of a shopping centre, and off it scampered. Just a second before you sat down before me. It makes you wonder, doesn't it now, how clean the bus must be? They don't clean buses enough, I reckon. I mean, it looks okay. There's someone's ticket on that seat, and up at the front in the wheelchair area, there's an empty crisp packet. They're tidy, but they're not really clean. When have you ever seen a person clean a bus? I never have. Maybe they do do it at night. I never thought about that. Not everyone says spiders are a bad thing. Surely they eat the flies and flies eat dogs, shite, I mean muck. So it's okay to have some around. I remember someone saying that. But my sister Emma was visiting me once years ago. She saw a spider in my room. Sure, she hardly comes to visit anymore. She said, I want those cobwebs gone the next time I'm here. And I want the weeds pulled out of that front garden. Do you hear me? Tell those ones working here I need it done. I told Rennie, the care worker, the caretaker, that my sister Emma said that. And we were down their hands and knees taking out the weeds. Rennie's the one who told me the thing about spiders, that they wrap everything up nice. That's why I didn't kill the spider. That's why I would never do that. I never mentioned it to Nancy, the cleaner. She would have told me to clean the room myself. Flip, it's warm today, isn't it? You must be warm with that scarf on. I'm absolutely sweltered. Oh, it's not a warm scarf, more of a fashion thing. It ties all your colours together. I get you now. It's a hot day to be out, out running about, isn't it? It's a hot day to be out running. That's another thing with this heat. Bees are another thing that make the summer hard work. Have you ever seen this meme about bees? Client Ruth was in work getting her dye put in. She handed Gina her phone and she said, read that meme somebody put on the internet, Gina. You know what it said about bees? No. It said, if you find a tired bee, give them a spoonful of sugary water to waken them up. I wouldn't do it. I'd be scared of getting stung. Gina was holding a towel she just used on Miss hair to drink up the water from her wash. And she stepped forward to Gina and she said, tired bees, I'll give them a drink from this. And she walloped the wet towel off her workstation.